hello hello dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla sagittarius this is your reading for the week of august 16th through the 22nd um i'm not exactly sure how this is going to unfold for you guys and the reason why i say that is because when i was filling up your cup i and when i say this um i'm saying it from an, uh, an aspect of what I normally smell when I smell death, but that's what I, that's the smell that I got. Death is looming around or glooming around. Now, not saying that anybody's dying, guys. So let's get back to where we're at. But something something is dying off. There is something that is profoundly dying off and being removed from your energy. Um, and again, guys, these are general readings, so only take whatever applies to you and leave the rest if you get it you get it if you don't it's not meant for you um now why why is this 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 coming in in a sense of smell um uh, there, there's something that is just not adding up to you whether it is within a relationship whether it's romantic or platonic it doesn't necessarily have to be one or the other uh, but there's just something that is just not adding up anymore and you're just like mm, 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 mm. so this can be one of those things where there is an end to a connection or an end to the disagreement or to the lies within a connection however that um, expresses itself in your life is going to be different for every single one of you um, a lot of you are no longer in a space of staying attached or wanting to stay attached to things that are no longer serving you. It's like the minute spirit tells you move, you move, um, regardless of how painful or how, how hard it may be at that moment in time to move away from a situation or from a person. You're just allowing yourself to kind of just go where it is that you're being led. Um, there, there is a little resistance here with somebody not wanting to let you go or somebody wanting to keep tabs on you. Whether they're love or friends, it doesn't matter. Somebody is not willing to give up on you or give up on us, if that makes any sense. That is what they're saying. I'm not ready to give up on us. I'm not ready to give up on this connection. Um, and again, it does not have to be love, guys. This can be a sibling that you're having a falling off with and they don't want to stop talking to you. This can be a friend. It doesn't really matter. But somebody's not willing to let go. But the, the, the strength of smell is there of death. So at, at at some level or some aspect of this connection, something has completely died. Um, whether it is the the trust that you have for this person, whether it is is, is something in the aspect where even if the two of you continue, the relationship is never going to be the same again because something has been lost within that connection. Now, with that being said, I do feel that you are not allowing this death or this aspect of dying off within a connection to stop you from what it is that you're doing. You're, 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 you're going to keep on moving forward. You're going to keep your attention and your focus where it is that is needed at this moment in time because you're, you're no longer wanting to live or to be in a space where where you're trying to hold it all together on your own or you're trying to hold on to things and to people that shouldn't be in your space anymore there are certain things that you just simply have outgrown certain thought patterns certain um individuals and and when i say that it doesn't necessarily mean cutting somebody off completely but maybe you're no longer finding a desire in going out to drink every weekend maybe you're no longer finding a desire in smoking every weekend or getting high every weekend or doing whatever it is that you're doing um you're being led into trying different things, new things, and that's perfectly fine. So when you do feel like having a weekend of drinking or whatever, then you go to those people that normally drink every weekend. When you feel like going going for a hike, then you connect with those that go for a hike on a normal basis. It's kind of like that aspect, realizing that you don't have to limit your circle of friends, but you don't also have to hang out with them every single weekend or have to be around them every single minute and moment in time. So there are a lot of boundaries that you're setting with a lot of individuals within your life um, because again certain activities and th certain things are no longer bringing in that type of of satisfaction that maybe at one point it actually brought in um, there is a sense here of wanting or needing a, a group 
it can be a girl's night out or a girl's get getaway or a guy's weekend um depending on how you identify it doesn't really matter but it's about going away or um being in a space with just like those that you call like your closest friends whether they're your cousins your siblings or whatever there is a sense here that you have like a clique a group that um i'm sorry guys i do sit in a stability ball so um you will be hearing a lot of sounds but there is a sense of like just wanting to be with your people for like a day or two and just kind of like just talk about life and experience and just kind of like enjoy and embrace that energy. Um, and, and this may be coming in after this death with whomever or whatever situation relationship that death is coming in. Um, it's almost like needing to be surrounded by those that love you and support you or those that you feel love you and support you the most. If that makes sense. Um, that's pretty much what I'm getting for you, to be honest with you. It's like I keep on spinning, but there's really nothing, nothing new. It's, it's really, you're really in a, um, you really moved out of your own way when it came to letting go of what no longer is serving you. I'm going to keep it because it was only one card. So we're going to pull out three Oracle cards. We do have a card that came out already. Um, these can be confirmations to the reading. This is the second card that came out. Confirmation to something um, that didn't come out in the reading that you are inquiring about or simply your advice for this week. The first card is the Stargazer, which talks about set your sights higher. So again, you're seeing with this letting go and this not holding on to things and releasing whatever it is that needs to be released, you're seeing things from a higher perspective. We have um, the Protection Guardian, drop your shield. So there's a shield here to, that needs to be let go. Um, setting boundaries. Maybe you were afraid of setting boundaries because you were afraid that certain people were going to let go, uh, were going to walk away, or certain people were going to... Um, leave or whatever it is but you're no longer being bound by that energy the seer see beyond your current situation you're choosing to again see from a higher perspective look at things from a different perspective and allowing yourself to kind of go with that with the flow and not allowing the current situation of whatever it is that is dying off to keep you trapped <coughs> excuse me <coughs> it's okay you can go ahead and talk um, that's good. I'm going to pull out three cards, three cards, spirit, three cards for Sagittarius. Have two. So we have the Knight of, um, clothes, the eight of diamonds and the three of diamond. You're taking control. You're turning the wheel to where it is that you want. Why am I so intrigued by this picture? Anyways, um, taking charge um, and allowing yourself to to go with the flow. It's weird. It because I'm looking at this. Is this a jellyfish? I think it's a jellyfish. But the way that the tentacles are going, it's like. Everything that, you're, that the tentacles are touching, it's almost as like what has died off. I don't know why that makes why, why that's coming up that way. They were aspect of yourself or parts of your life. Like it's almost like the tentacles get rid of whatever is no longer serving you in order to keep you afloat or in order to keep you alive. I don't know why I'm getting the message that way, but that is the way that it's coming up, guys. Well, that is all that I have for you for this week. As always, thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Thank you to all of those that have been donating. It is greatly appreciated. And if you have not liked, share, or subscribe, I encourage you to do so. It helps with growing the channel, getting the video out there for more people, as well as keeping me accountable. For personal readings, all that information can be found down below in the description. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. I love you all. Bye-bye.